What's going on you guys? Today I have a quick inner thigh burnout for you. All you need is something to slide on. I'm gonna use a glider, but a dish towel, towel, blanket, anything will work here. Something that you can just slide your foot on. And you're gonna need um, like a rolled up towel, rolled up blanket, I'm gonna use a rolled up dog blanket. <laughs> Whatever you have, something that you can put between the knees and you can squeeze there, really get those inner thighs to fire. All right, so grab what you need and let's go. just by getting the what we're going to use as a slider whatever whether you're using slippery socks or whatever just get it off to one side and start thinking about that opposite leg i just want to make sure we're in the right zone here so we're not trying to find things when we're in the middle of our workout so we're good to go in five seconds i'm just going to lift this leg pulsing it up here here we go Ooh, i started early i'm going to regret that so it's just a pulse my abs are pulled in belly button pulled to my spine, almost like you want to pull your belly button to your bra strap. So think that. I have a slight bend in that standing leg. I'm staying buoyant, right? I'm not locked out. I'm just pulsing here. I really want to pull from the inner thigh muscles. Think right here. God, if I look around, I lose my balance. Guys, if you need to, you can use a wall, a bar, a chair, but I'm going to Stick for the balance challenge today. Yes, hello inner thigh. It's starting to wake up. We're almost done. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, now I'm gonna plant the foot, turn the toes out. I'm gonna put the opposite heel on the slider and I'm going to drop it down in two, one. Here we go, drop down and uh, I'm using the inner thigh muscles right here to pull this leg in, right? So down and up, using right here, down and up. My knee is tracking in the same direction as my toe. 30 seconds left here, down and up. Really try to pull from the inner thigh. This leg might get a nice stretch, but it's really just dead weight here. I'm using just one leg. Oh my gosh, almost done. You've got about 10 seconds left here. We're gonna do that progression on the other leg. Five, two, and rest. Cool. All right, I'm gonna move it over to the other side just so it's there and ready to go. Opposite leg gets ready to lift. Here we go. Just pulsing it up here. Beautiful. You're breathing. Core is engaged. We're just doing baby pulses. Remember, you can use a chair, bar, wall, whatever you've got to help you balance. Otherwise, we're really gonna use that core strength, stability, all those stabilizers to stay balanced here. 15, this side hurts more. Got 10 seconds left. Keep pulsing. Oh my goodness, two, rest. Okay, good. Those toes turn out, opposite foot goes on the slider. And in five, we drop it down, knee tracks in that same direction as your toe, down, pull it up. Whoop. Not very slidey today. There we go, pull it up. Using that inner thigh, those adductors. Yes, your knee is gonna shift past your toe if you go low enough. Just try to keep that heel on the ground. I don't want it coming off. So pressing into that heel as you slide up. Remember this leg over here is dead weight. Yes, I'm toning that quad, but all the work is coming from my standing leg. 10, five, three, 
three, two, beautiful. All right, you can ditch your slider. Get out of the way. I'm gonna step wide, turn my toes out. And I'm going to sink down and just kind of dance it out here. I'm gonna come up onto one toe, shift onto the other. I'm literally just dancing in a sumo squat. Okay, this is not how I dance, or maybe it is, but I want you to just kind of flow with it. Like a tree in the breeze. Oh my gosh, don't fall. Be weird with me. It's fine, I'm all breathing heavy. Like this is killing me right now. Woo, 20 seconds. Try to shift all that weight into one leg. Oh my gosh, there's like leaves all over my shoe. And now they're all over my mat. Eight seconds, at least it's not dog poop. Three, two, yes. Okay, clean up the leaves. Okay, you're gonna grab your uh, blanket and you're going to squeeze it in between the knees. Drop down to a squat. Up, squeeze, down, up, squeeze. Get those uh, feet nice and close together. Squeeze the knees together. Down and up, good. Squeeze, can you feel those inner thighs firing? Now that they're having you to hold this thing there, squeeze. Birds are going crazy out there. 20 seconds left. Hello, quads and inner thighs and glutes and hamstrings. I'm a little sore from the last workout I filmed. Squeeze guys, eight seconds. Things are just gonna get harder in three, Okay, keep it there. In eight seconds, we're gonna sink back down into that narrow squeeze squat, and I'm just going to lift my heels. So we're down, lift, lift, oh my gosh, lift. Squeeze the inner thighs together. They should be firing. Squeeze that blanket. Maybe you actually have like a Pilates ball. That would be awesome, oh my gosh. Got a little shake, 30 seconds. Make sure that back is flat, you're not rounding here. Just try to get yourself up onto those toes. Okay, my dog blanket kind of stinks like a dog. 15. I have more dogs than people in this house, so most everything smells like dog. Eight. Oh my gosh, five. Two. Yes, okay, keep it there. Oh my goodness. We're gonna come right here for a thruster. So I'm going to squeeze, lift. Keep squeezing that blanket. Oh my goodness. Guys, if this is not cool on your shoulders, you're gonna come all the way down into a bridge. I like this better because you get a lot more range of motion. Really squeeze that blanket or whatever you've got. 20 seconds left here. I'm shaking so bad now. Yahoo! Eight. We're almost done guys, keep squeezing. We have two exercises after this. Rest, okay, we're gonna come flat on the ground, still squeezing, adjusting if necessary. I'm gonna press up into a bridge. Lift the heels, bring them down. Lift, bring them down. Squeeze, lift, bring them down. I want you to really focus on squeezing that towel or blanket. This workout is all about the squeeze, my friends. I'm just coming up onto my toes, coming down. I'm not letting my back arch, guys. I'm pressing my hips up and in towards my nose so I can really squeeze my bum. If I don't focus on that, I'm gonna focus on pushing my hips to the ceiling and I'm gonna arch 
the heck out of my back and end up, end up irritating it or injuring it. 10 seconds, hello inner thighs and everything. Five, oh my gosh, three. Okay, relax for just a second. Our last exercise, we're gonna come back up and we're just going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze our blanket. Here we go. Pressing through those heels this time. Just squeeze. Okay. Breathe here. You wanna up the intensity on your core. Challenge yourself a little more. Bring those hands straight up. Yeah, okay. I'm just literally boop, 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 squeezing little pulses on my dog blanket. My stinky dog blanket. We're almost done, 20 seconds, guys, breathe. You don't need to shake it out, we got this. Just breathe into it. 10 seconds. Breathe. You got this. Five, oh my gosh. We are almost, yes! Oh, okay, yo! Awesome job, you guys. Feel free to do this workout again or what I would do, I would use this as a burnout round after a lower body strength routine. Do what you want, I'm good with it all. I love you guys. Make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.